Hey there, and welcome back to the Vex IQ Guide. In today's video, we're going to be building the Vex IQ Clawbot. Now, building the Vex IQ Clawbot does build off of the Vex IQ Basebot, which I made another video on. The link is in the description of this video. If you don't already have the Basebot and you want to know how to make it, be sure to check out that video first, as we will be building off of that. Now, let's get started on building the Clawbot. Let's get started here with the Clawbot. First off, we're going to be removing the brain from the mechanism as we're going to be having to make some adjustments to our base bot to make this claw bot work. Then we're going to detach both of the 2x8s on the end of the base bot. Next, we're going to be taking a pin that has two notches on one side and one on the other, and we're going to be putting a spacer on the two notch side of it, as you can see here. Next, we'll be placing four of these into the bottom of the 2x16 as seen here. We're now going to be putting two motor shafts into our mechanism on the holes as you can see here. Now we're going to get our motor. For here, we're going to be getting pins and placing it in the four holes on the edges. We then attach the motor into the mechanism, as you can see here. The hole of the motor should go in the bottom of the motor shafts. Now we're going to place these 2x3 double-sided connectors on these holes into the 2x16, as you can see here. Next, we'll be putting some 1x1s into both of the motor shafts. Now, we're going to be taking two of these 1x beams, as you can see here. We're simply going to take the 1x beams and in the bottom hole, place a, a 3 pitch pin. Sorry, 2 pitch pin. Then, on the other side, we're going to be putting a 2x2 two two single side connector. Then we're going to get some two pitch standoffs and place them in the holes, as you can see here, in both of the one by beams. Next up, we're going to be establishing our gear ratio. To start, we're going to be placing two of the 12 tooth gears into the bottom hole. The reason that we're doing this on the bottom is because ultimately we want to create a torque ratio. So by placing the smallest gear in the bottom allows us to then place a bigger gear on top, enabling us to create torque in the build. Then we're going to get two of the 36 tooth gears and we're actually going to be connecting them together. This is because we want to control their movement outside of just the shaft as they're going to be pushing some of the other mechanisms. We simply have a 2x2 two two pin as you can see here and we're going to be placing the two 36 tooth gears on both sides of them and then pushing them together. Next we'll be placing that on the top of the, of the motor shafts and then make sure that pin goes into the one by beam. Now we're going to be placing two rubber bands. From, it should be going from the top left standoff to the bottom right standoff, as you can see here. These rubber bands are going to create tension to activate this mechanism. Now we're going to be taking another 1x beam and placing a 2x2 two two single sided connector on the end of it. Now we're going to have to make two of these for this side. Then, we're going to be doing a very similar process to what we just did. These 1x beams will be going parallel to the 1x beams that we just placed on, and they're going to be going on those same motor shafts, the top one and the bottom one. Make sure that these also connect into the standoffs that we placed previously. Now, let's get a 4x4 mechanism and place pins in the following positions, as you see here. Then we're going to be placing this connector here as well. And then two angle connectors on the ends as well. 
this is going to be creating the supporting foundation that we need to then attach our claw. This part's a little tricky. What we're going to be doing is placing the 4x4 onto these four connector pieces that we previously made. Now, make sure that you have it so that the 4x4, these two center holes, are what all of our pins are going into. Basically, the um, the eight total like pins that you have from your connectors are going to be going down the two center columns of the 4x4, as you can see here. If this is a little confusing, make sure you also check out the instructions, which are also on the screen, for this step, because it can be a little tricky. Next, we're going to place two more 1x1s on the end of these motor shafts. Now, unfortunately, I was actually one 1x1 one one short, so I decided to use a shaft collar instead, because it's the same distance. If you're short on 1x1s, one one, you can definitely do the same thing, but otherwise, definitely use the 1x1s. One one. Now we're going to be doing something similar on the other side. Take the other side of the of your drivetrain that you made and do the same thing with the two on one side and one of the other pins with placing the spacers there as well and then use that to connect the 2x16 to the end of the drivetrain. Now we're going to be connecting the two sides of the drivetrain. As you can see here, we're simply just attaching one side onto the other just like so. Make sure everything is very evenly lined up as it should be symmetrical on both sides. Now we're going to be getting the 2x8 from before and just placing it on the end of these connectors as you can see to link both sides of the drivetrain. Let's now place the brain back on in the position as you can see here. And like in the previous video with the base spot, we're going to be wiring these motors into ports 1 and 6. Now we'll be placing another 2x8 on the other side of the drivetrain, this time with two pins on each side of the 2x beam. Now we're going to get started here with the claw. We're going to get this 2x6 beam and place two motor shafts as you can see here. Now we're going to be placing four pins as well. And then we'll be placing the motor onto the beam. Make sure that the hole in the motor successfully goes on to the, to the shaft. Next, we'll place a two-pitch standoff on both of these corners of the 2x of the beam. Then we'll be placing two spacers on each of the motor shafts. Next, we'll be making the arms of the claw. We're simply going to be getting this, this angled piece, as you can see here, as well as this beam with this 2x1 two, two sticking out of the end of it. Sorry, the gear with the 2 by one sticking out of the end of it. We're going to be connecting it with pins, as you can see here. We're then going to be placing a 1 by 4 on the end of it. Make sure all the spacing is right, because it can be a little confusing, but you can copy it directly from the image, as you can see here. Now we're going to be making the edges of the claw. Here, we're simply going to be placing this link onto this 2, two by one single-sided connector. Do this twice because we're going to be using it for the other side as well. Then we're going to place this connector onto the arm of the claw, as you can see here. This is then going to go on the side of, onto, sorry, one of the shafts of the 2 by beam. Now we're going to be doing something very similar, just mirrored on the other side, with the same exact parts. You can simply follow along with the video. Now, this will go in the other of the motor shafts, and the gears should line up with each other. Now, we're going to place another 2x6 beam on top of it. To finish off the claw part, we're going to be placing this final 4x4 with two pins in the center here.
Now let's attach the claw to the bot. We're simply going to take these last two rows on the 4x4 and attach them to, the, to these angle connectors. Now we're just going to be finishing off this build with some wire management. What we're going to be doing is taking these arced parts which are used to hold wires in place. You simply place the wire through these arced parts, place two pins where they're going to go in between, and then place this arced part over top of it. What it'll do is it'll hold the wire in place. We're doing this in two spots, one for the wire of the claw and the other for the wire of the lift. Next, we're going to be creating a hard stop for the claw. This is really great because it prevents your claw from going all the way down and hitting your brain. We're simply going to be taking two of the 1x4s and then a 2x4 beam and connecting them together just like this. Then we simply connect that to the side of the brain. That's all for today on building the Vex IQ claw bot. If you found this video helpful, be sure to drop a like and subscribe to this channel for more content just like this. See you in the next one.